Tinker Eagle here. I'm going to be doing a review of a box mod today. It's Sinister Box Mods. I have their Beta G Series Unregulated. Um, usually their Unregs come in the bigger V box. Um, I also have in my hand their 50 watt. Uh, I wanted to show off the engravings and everything that they can do. Like that's the Freddy Krueger. I have the, the QT Cthulhu with the top hat that says War. What do you expect from me? So these are locally made in Memphis. They have a couple of guys that make them. Uh, I have the magnet upgrade, and mine is number 001. Love this. Uh, as you can see, really clean inside. Um, I'll do a better breakdown of it here in a little bit, uh, a closer up breakdown. But I just wanted to show off pretty much what it can do first. Dual 18650, uh, 510 Fat Daddy. Who doesn't love those? Uh, they're really cool guys. Great turnover time. If it ever breaks, it has a lifetime warranty. Um, and they usually have about a 24-hour window till you get your box back, and they give you a loaner box. The cool thing is, they actually give you instructions. And then they have all their warranty stuff on the back. Uh, like, this is the instructions for... The 50 watt, I left my instructions at home because I'm brilliant like that. Because I'm at the shop today. So, uh, like their 50 watts, uh, they say to safely build down to a 0.5. Um, and as a, my favorite thing, it says, we do not recommend vaping a lower ohm build at the maximum voltage, even if your box can do it. Um, and then they have your potentiometer layout. But again, that's for the 50 watt, which I don't currently use. Everybody knows me, and I love my power. So uh, here in a minute, I'm going to break down the box, open it up, show you really close up uh, how it's made. All right, so this is the boxes opened up. Uh, this is my box. As you can tell, it has the positive to negative in parallel. I probably said that wrong, but uh, very clean on the inside. Here's your your posts. Um, I use flat tops in mine. You can run Orbtronics or whatever. Uh, it's really clean inside. Not a lot of goop and icky stuff that you see. There, of course, is a close-up of your 510. It's a little bit blurry, sorry. Uh, I'm MOSFET right there. Really, really nice inside. And, of course, you know, as I said, I have the magnet upgrade. This is the inside of the 50 watt. They, they old stickers, so you can't put your batteries in wrong. Because you don't want to do that. Then, of course, your chip right there. Uh, this one has the potentiometer on the side. I had to get to it. And they mark it for the different levels, which is really nice. So there's not a lot of guesstimating. Um, again, really clean inside. Nice button on the side of it. Um, I really wanted to show you all the big B series, but we're out of stock of them because we sell out of these really fast. And of course, this one, all of them come with the engraving inside. Of course, the light's messing up and it just screws on there. Uh, mine, I don't know if they're going to make any more G series because it's a real big pain in the butt to get all the stuff for an unreg inside of a tiny box. Uh, so they did a Beautiful job on mine. Um, again, beautiful stickers. I can't mess up and put them in wrong. Just remember, if you get them to get marry your batteries. Um, I have mine, and I know which is which by the number on them. And mine are rewrapped Sony or Samsung. Ah, <laughs> I'm out of it today. Samsung R's. Uh, they recommend. VTC 4s, Orbtronics, uh, VTC 5s, Samsung EFS, or uh, Samsung or the EFS. Um, but as I said, you know, be really careful when you're putting your batteries in and out. Uh, always make sure to take them out, positive side up. Marry your batteries, that way your voltage is always the same. Um, they drain the same, charge them both at the same time. And then also mark them like one and two, and each time you charge, reverse them. That way, you know, you get a good charge every time. Look, I'm trying to put mine on backwards. I'm doing really strong magnets. 
uh, they have my polarity done to where I can't put my top thing on long and my door. There we go. Uh, again, the engraving on them. He did a beautiful job. So um, I'm going to do a couple of videos of the actual clouding off of these and that will pretty much be all of it. And I'll give you all the contact info and etc. All right, so Doc's here owns the 50 watts box. So I'm going to have him show some clouds. And of course, we have Drew creeping in the background. So here's some, here's some 50 watt clouds. Tell me so, your build real quick. <laughs> this is a 0.47 build. So um, I have it turned all the way up. So I'm hitting pretty close to that 50 watt. Um, limit there on the box and I will show you my clouds. They're baby clouds. <laughs> but it works really good. Yeah. I'm blurry. Oh yeah, we, we keep on blurring this up. Yay! Okay, so I have the G series unreg built at about point one two. My clouds are stuck in the day. Drew has one of the maker's original boxes built at something. We shouldn't even say what he's got it built at. Oh. All right, so that's the end of the little cloud session. Um, I'll put in the comments where you can find Sinister Box Mods at. They rock, dude. Y'all have a great day.